This is your phone, and that's an English hill. And this is how you protect your mental health. Of course, I'm not an absolute madman, and you don't need to physically smash your phone every Monday, but you do need to metaphorically destroy your digital identity on a consistent weekly basis. This little glowing rectangle that is attached to our hips and glued to our hands is a tool for both connection and disconnection. I wouldn't have the beautiful life that I have where I get to post on social media and have an international client base if I didn't use the phone very heavily. But my business health depends on my personal health. And if my personal health is lacking because I have buzzed myself up with way too much dopamine, I'm not going to be very useful to very many people. I've learned the hard way that the way to truly protect your mental health is to have unconventional boundaries on phone limitations, to get the unconventional focus and clarity which is sorely lacking in today's society. In a nutshell, I go offline on Monday, I don't respond to Instagram, I don't get back to client messages, and I try and minimize my technology use overall so that I can come back online three full days later on Thursday and be fresh and ready to take on the whole wide world. Of course, I'm very introverted, so naturally I do want to be alone, but there's more to it. And it's a question that I often get kind of tangentially because of comments like this one, where people ask me, how can I reach out to you? What's your email address? And sometimes I think we expect people to be perpetually available and especially business owners or entrepreneurs, you worry that if you possibly unplug for even an hour or two that you're gonna miss the next big opportunity. But it just doesn't work this way. So maybe I can convince you to at the very least take at least one full day off from phone usage and ideally, two days, maybe even three days off every single week, and you'll start to feel some of the benefits I've been feeling for at least the last year of maintaining this practice. What are you going to expect? Well, if you go offline, let's say on a Sunday night, and for me, Sunday is one of my busiest days because people typically work during the week, so client sessions, very packed on Saturday and Sunday. Going offline on Sunday night feels like my eyes are starting to droop, I feel myself squinty, I feel myself very quick in my thought process, there's way too many messages, way too many points of contact, and I progressively dissociate my head and kind of locate myself into a digital identity. And I'm very tired by the end of the week. On Monday, I'm not fully recovered. Even though I've turned off my phone, I've put it away in the drawer or metaphorically thrown it off the cliff, it takes another full day for me to actually get my proper focus back because I know what it feels like to be able to read for four or five hours and then go out for a walk and then film a video. And all I've really done is three things. There was one long period of focus, there was one period of a full break, and then there was another period of work again. I'm not just resting for three days, I'm actively working on Tuesdays and Wednesdays at the very least, but I don't get towards that point of deep connection. I can't make a video like this in a beautiful location. We're in the west of England right now, up on the Malvern Hills. I wouldn't have the ability to be able to see further with my creativity or actually bring my energy down to be able to speak powerfully about things or articulately in one single take if I'm used to constant short text messages with several dozen people a day. It's something which is getting more and more popular, this dopamine detox idea but I think we're going in the wrong direction. It's not about a seven day or 30 day detox where you then return back to the same habits which led you to feeling burnt out before. It's about a consistent weekly practice. I need to go offline on Monday because maybe this is a vulnerability or a weakness of mine, but if I do not go offline for at least one full day per week, I'm gonna get resentful, I'm gonna get bitter, and I'm gonna be short and snappy with my clients, and I'm not actually gonna be very good for anyone at all. My business will start to decline, my mental health will start to decline, and it's not gonna be fixed by a dopamine detox for 30 days, because I still need to go back and live my life on a weekly basis. If you wanna take this principle to the next level, I suggest not using email and not being available when you're out. So for me, this means generally my phone's on airplane mode. Right now, I'm on airplane mode. It took me until about six months ago to get mobile internet. I didn't have mobile credit on my phone since age 17. I went well, almost a decade without being able to call people or text people because I really, really wanted to protect my ability to be completely unplugged. Recently, business has meant that I need mobile internet for things like this, but it's not the ultimate reason. I think I've got some insects on my throat. 
It's the benefit of filming outdoors, I guess. You get to experience nature. And there's a bee right here on the camera. Uh, you might see it in the shot, but there he goes. <laughs> the benefits of moving uh, outdoors. It's creative, it's expansive. I'm not just in the library. I'm making more out of my life in a way where I wouldn't even see the opportunity if I'm so focused and fixed on the best highlights of other people and I couldn't imagine going back and being online perpetually. It's something which I can't emphasize strongly enough. And hopefully making a video outside, this short, snappy video where I really try and give a testament to this three days per week, completely offline, and my business thrives as a result because I'm restored and I'm fresh. I'm fresh, I'm active, and I'm engaged, rather than perpetually dragging myself down towards a dead end and then needing multiple months off to recover. And you will see this in different creators where they don't post for months. It's because they were too online all of the time, or at least that's perhaps one of my assumptions about the creator space overall. At the very least, please consider using email less. Please consider being offline for at least one full day per week. And if you want to be radical, maybe take three or four days offline. I guarantee you that your business will not suffer. Your friends will understand, and you'll probably be able to read all those books that have been stacking up on your shelf, that you've been picking up from this channel, and actually have the focus to sit down for four hours every day on a consistent basis, and not feel like you need to go and get a quick YouTube short or TikTok hit to give you the next kind of distraction high. You just won't want to do it. Your palette changes when you change your focus, and you can change your focus by literally, once more, metaphorically, taking this and throwing it all the way out there. I hope this has helped. I'll see you on the next video where we're going to be talking about how to do this in the trauma sense because we don't just do nice videos on hills, we do all the deep dark work as well. And I'll see you over there.